This set has come a long way since its conception, and I think that it does look quite nice in its current state. This set is designed by Edwin, who is also the designer of the infamous GMK95 Neon, which was controversial due to several different reasons. I actually made a video about this some time back, and in the video I mentioned that I wished him the best and hoped that he would come out with something cool. He then proceeded to create an IC for a set that he called GMK Max Neon that appeared to be a set inspired by a certain cybernetic ninja and suspiciously looked very similar to his other set. I definitely understand not wanting to let your work go to waste after spending so much time on it, but after the controversy that the first set went through, it would have been better to drop it entirely and move on. GMK Galaxy seems to be the newest project that he came up with and although people were apprehensive about this set and rightly so in the beginning, I think that's become a really nice looking set. In the Geek Hack thread, he's been nothing but patient and has taken criticism in his stride and used it to improve the set. I think that some people will definitely hold the past controversy over whatever he tries to do in the future. He's apologized for his mistakes, but I'm sure that for some, it wasn't enough. Converting the GMK95 Neon to GMK Max Neon was also a really dumb decision, which kind of made it feel like he wasn't being entirely sincere with his apology. I would like to believe in the best of people though, and I hope that he's learned from his past mistakes. If you'd like to pick up a set, GMK Galaxy will be going live on February 4th. Check the Geek Hack page for your regional vendor. The IS car is a really attractive looking 65% board that goes live on January 25th. It's similar to many boards nowadays since the mounting style is gasket mount, but I think that what makes this board stand out is how it looks. Unlike most 65% boards, this car has a stainless steel rim that goes on the top of your keyboard and surrounds your keycaps to give it an elegant look. The weight will also be made of stainless steel with a PVD coating, and it has a small engraving of a person wearing a suit. I'm not sure where this comes from and what the inspiration was, but it doesn't look bad. That being said, I don't think it looks all that good either, but since it's the bottom weight, you won't be seeing it too often anyways. This scar will not come cheap, and will be priced at $489. Prices of keyboards have definitely gone up since the pandemic, so I really miss when 65% boards were a lot cheaper. A lot of the cost is probably due to the stainless steel parts, but those parts are what give the Iskar its classy look. Like most keyboards, I definitely think that it's a good idea to watch some keyboard content out there before making your decision to buy. Always take these videos and stream VODs with a grain of salt, but they will give you an idea of what it might look like once you get it in your hands. This car will be first come first serve with a soft cap on the number of units. I tried searching on the product page, Geek Hack IC, and Reddit posts, but wasn't able to find the number of units available. The information might be on their Discord, so if you'd like more information or want to ask questions, I'd definitely consider joining the server. The Phoenix is an F13TKL that has a really cool engraving on the bottom. There will be two versions available, one with an aluminum base for $499 and one with a brass base for $599. If you're a person who likes heavy keyboards, the Phoenix might be the board for you as a brass base version will weigh around 4 kilograms. Overall, it's a nice and simple TKL that probably won't especially stand out on your desk since there's nothing on the top to differentiate it from the standard TKL. Not that it's a bad thing though. One of my favorite boards that I'm using is a high-spec TKL that doesn't have any distinguishing factors from the top-down view either. One thing that I don't love about this board is the bottom screws which aren't centered. I know that there are other boards who do this and it's mainly done for the keyboard internals, but it just kind of bothers me. It is on the bottom of the keyboard though, so you won't see it for the most part, but I thought that it's something that I would just point out. For me, although I do like how it looks, the price for this keyboard is a little too steep. I do already have other keyboards, so maybe that's why I don't really feel the need to buy this board. But if I was going to join another group buy, I'd probably go for the brass version. For just $100 more, you're getting a sizable chunk of brass that looks pretty nice, though it will cost you $600. Best of luck to the designer, and I hope your group buy is successful. The Glare TKL is an old board designed by Gion for a private customer that will now go on sale for a group buy for the general public. I'm not sure when this board was designed, but it is a top mount board, which is a mounting style that was quite popular before, but not so much now. It's not as flexible compared to the standard gasket mount board, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I own a Satisfaction 75, which is also a top mount board that uses O-rings, and while the typing experience is not as soft as some of my other boards, it is still quite enjoyable. The Glare TKL is a heavy board, and will weigh around 4 kilograms unbuilt. This is probably due to the brass weight, which will be sandblasted. As a result, the Glare TKL will not come cheap, and the price is estimated to be around $520 to $580, which is pretty pricey. This is in line with some of Gion's other premium TKLs like the F284, which was sold for around $670 Canadian. Like all Gion keyboards, it will include a hard carrying case as well as a fabric cloth. 
It will only come in black and silver like the F284. So if you want a more colorful board, you might want to look into shops that do anodizations, e-coatings, or paint jobs. Something important to note if you're interested in buying this board is that the black colored F284s that have been recently delivered have had some issues with streaking. It doesn't look too bad from some of the pictures I've seen, but when you're paying big money, you definitely are expecting the best. As a result, it might be safer to go with the silver and then change the color at a shop later. The Glare TKL will be going on sale on February 5th. It will be an unlimited group buy, so you won't have to worry about it going out of stock within a few seconds.